It's been nearly two years since the family of Lyric Woods last saw her alive. That you want to say to your dad for Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. I love you. Yep. The Orange County teenager disappeared on a Friday. Just two days later, she was found murdered with another teen two and a half miles away from her parents' home. It's been 685 days of grief for Lyric's family, but tonight they're sharing their story for the very first time. CBS 17's Haley Fixler has followed this story from the very beginning, and Haley, the parents and the sheriff are speaking about this horrific case. Yes, and when I asked the parents why they finally wanted to break their silence, they told me they thought it would be incredibly difficult, but it is also very important. They've changed the state law. They are starting a nonprofit, and they're waiting for a trial that is still not scheduled. Now, you're going to hear from them tonight, but right now, you're going to hear from the sheriff who tells us he, too, is waiting. Orange County Sheriff Charles Blackwood keeps a folder on his desk. In every law enforcement officer's career, there's the case that rests on them that they never forget, that they keep close to them. The folder, now sitting there for nearly two years since the day 14-year-old Lyric Woods went missing on September 16th, 2022. Her body found two days later lying in a brush next to the body of 18-year-old Devin Clark from Alamance County. It was, it was a horrible sight when there are 13 or 14 shots. That's it's it's intentional and it's it's vicious, savage inside his folder, paper clippings, news stories, investigative reports and a copy of a law, Lyric and Devon's law that he worked with the family to help create all because of this case. It took over two weeks for a team of investigators to track down the suspect, then 17-year-old Isaiah Ross in Delaware, and bring him back to Orange County to charge him with two counts of first-degree murder. No one could be told about the information that was contained within that case, not even the families, um, about suspects, where they thought they were, how we thought this happened, what a motive may have been. The new law allows the public identification of juvenile suspects and a description of the threat they pose to the community to help find and take them into custody. Lyric's parents tell us not knowing made their nightmare that much worse. They knew 12 hours after their bodies were found who did it. But because he was like 17 and nine months, that he was protected according to the law. And Lyric and Devon's law went into effect on December 1st. Tonight at 6, you're going to hear more from her parents about their grief, their journey to justice, and the pain they'll always live with. Cannot imagine the grief that they're feeling. Still no. with answers here that need to be come up with. Absolutely. Yeah. We look forward to that mm. report at 6 o'clock. Haley, thank you.